Hey guys, it's Ghosty Gaming here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Euro Truck 2 multiplayer. So first of all, we need to go onto Google Chrome or any other internet browser and type in Euro Truck 2 multiplayer and then go on the first link. It should be this link here. And also, if you do this, you're doing it at your own risk. And if it goes wrong, it's not my fault. But if it goes wrong, uh, what people have had before, it's actually quite a few um, times for it does it you actually lose your um, jobs but I'll show you at the end of the video how you repair it if it ha happens so you need to type your email and password or register a register allows you to log in with your steam account so you need to log in or register so I'm just gonna move this onto my other monitor so I can log in Now what you need to do is click download the latest version, then click game client. Then you will need to click this file, it downloads or open the file uh, at any other browser, how you download it on another browser. So now you see the install etms mp download file. We need to double click on this, then click yes. By the chance it will say unknown publisher. So please be aware to research this website before you do it, just in case something goes wrong, anything else, whether it's a virus or an expire or anything similar. Click next, and then you got to ask what language you want to install. I will do it in English, then you've got to click next. Then you've got to set the agreement, and you've got to um, send so your area track into a following folder. To continue, click next. Um, you guys, you don't need to change this, you just leave it how it is, but because how I'm doing it, a different way to you guys, I've already got it installed, I don't want to mess up my previous one. So I want to go to my um, C drive, don't follow this, don't worry about it. Just keep it, keep it how it is, it should be in your program files as default, but I've got it different because so I'm changing it here myself. So I'm going to put it on mine in my, oh, um, my video folder. If you're wondering why, don't worry. And that's where mine's in the store. Then you need to put it in this um, Place it in the Steam area where Euro Truck is saved. So you need to, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shut it all out and then you'll click this once, then you've got to click throwing your files times 86, then you've got to go down to Steam, so you'll click the little down arrow down, then find um, Steam apps, and then Euro Truck 2 here, then you'll click this folder, then click OK, then click Next. I'm going to do multiplayer only, then click next, then next again. Then make, it's asking you if you want it to create a desktop shortcut. Just click, keep it clicked or unclicked. But if you don't know what it's going to be, I would suggest clicking that so you know where it is when you want to play it. Then click next and then install. It will install to where you want it. I'm going to uncheck this. If you want to play it straight away, just click, un just click it. But if it don't work, just go into normal Euro Truck, should work, still work fine. Pieces are different, because it runs a different way to start up the game. Right, now I'm going to show you if, if it broke any time later. It won't do it straight away, break your jobs. If it does, it's actually quite, it's quite apparent, it can do it quite a lot and break it. So you've got to go into your documents. It's, so I'm going to go into my documents. Then, um, not in my downloads, I mean documents. And Euro Trip Team 2, then profiles. It should be one of these. These also will be your multi um, different ones. All of these are your profiles. So if it, one of them has made it broken, you've got to find which one it is. But I'm just going to do any of them because I'm not you, then none of them are broken. Then you need to go to the config folder and you will find force the common reset. Change this to one, then open Euro Trip as normal and then. Make sure all your jobs are there, then close it, then quit your truck, come back in here and put it back to zero. And then it should work. Then so then then what you need to, if if it's fixed, you just open your truck normally and then shut it if it makes sure it all works though. And then shut it and then go back onto multiplayer and it should all work fine. So I hope you like this video today guys. So please rate, comment and subscribe. Good